Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with Digibyte US Dollars Technical Analysis. Now, uh, we are looking at the monthly view and the candle is still more or less like yesterday, slightly more red to be honest, so the price seems to have been dropping. I haven't checked Digibyte so I don't know what's going to happen when I move in the previous time frames, but before I begin, I, never, I must never forget this part. This is only paper trading advice, okay? Never put your money where I'm saying the money may go. I may be wrong, everybody can be wrong. And sometimes you may be wrong even when you are right. And if you're watching the strategies that I am sending out uh, to the Promising Traders tribe, you will know what I mean when I say that. Sometimes the price goes where you want, but your stop loss was so narrow that you, you were kicked out before taking all the fruits of your hard labor. Now, uh, also, Top right corner right now there is a video that takes you to the 20 minutes crash course trading view which will show you literally how to use trading view for trading from zero to trading really on paper trading so you will see how to set the paper trading account how to customize the interface how to use indicators which ones to use how to customize indicators and how to use the candle scanner which i've decided i'm not going to remove but you need to bear with me i'm not going to update it soon i will update it though it's still in my plans even because i use it uh, but the hammers and the engulfing candles are already good enough in my opinion anyway before i forget don't forget to leave me a like if you like the videos if you don't like the video please let me know why because if you just dislike it it won't help it will not make me understand what i can do to improve them i think i can prove pretty much everything except for the accent and the, the rubbish english that i speak but that everything else should be okay <laughs> so let's move in the weekly the weekly candle though you see yesterday had a i remember it had a, a slightly bigger green body so yes the price dropped and let me see yeah in the daily let's also reveal all the mess now let's give it time to adjust all the things okay we're good cool and you see here i have a potential ascending triangle i keep seeing ascending triangles on digibyte and then it keeps dropping i see i keep see triple um, uh, bottoms or three rivers as you prefer and then it keeps dropping uh, eventually if I keep saying that it's going to go up unless it disappears it will go up but I want to be right now right now um, so um, here we see yes the price is dropping today however RSI is still over 40 so this may not be something alarming this could still be our ascending triangle maybe, maybe we want to do something like this rather than this it doesn't matter too much um, the thing that matters is that we need to see what's going to do and at the moment we can check without this that there is not much volume people are not trading probably because of the news uh, thanks to the comments on my youtube videos i know about the news I, I i've heard there is some bad news here i didn't i didn't go to the news i never checked the news even because news sometimes you think you got them right and they just create the exact opposite of what you're thinking uh, so I never go for the news, but let's see in the six hours and see the candles in a little better way so that we may Estimate better what's gonna happen. So we are still still at support So this green line still provides support uh, at a certain point. Well, but that was the 30th of September So we are still here um, And we are unable to break actually there was a bear engulfing candle here and uh, now we look it looks like we have rejection in this very last candle which i believe is brand new yes it's just one hour old we have a window here a gap which is not looking good quite frankly and even rsi is looking like it's dropping macd looks like it tried a couple of times but now it's giving up even though macd may change very suddenly so yes it may go for the retest that i was mentioning it may retest this it may retest this this one was already a retest because the, the, the area of retest, as I said, is this one between the. Um, oh, God, here finding the price is almost impossible. 00695244, I think. Let me see. Yep. And the next one, I won't be able to see it. I need to click here and check the number here. This one is 00615846. So this is the, the area of retest and we may retest and so if so we won't have the ascending triangle which is looking like 
a possibility right now let me move in the three hours maybe in the three hours we can find out something better now there is a little bit more volume but this candle is still new and with this volume it means like people are entering uh, it depends on what side so far there was rejection but maybe by the end of these two hours the window will be closed and if this window will be closed you know it means there is rejection and this solidifies this support here though we are testing this support slightly too longer in my opinion which is another concern however even RSI is, seems to have found support here so yeah I wouldn't be surprised if we see another fall off the roof like this boom like that you know after all we are still in the golden pocket and now everything can happen it's very difficult to establish what's gonna happen if you are a long-term investor like most of the followers of Digibyte who are watching this YouTube video right now are you may be okay to enter here and take this loss however it's not guaranteed that this is really the bottom you know anyway let's see in the hour maybe in, in the hour we can see something a little more um, I don't know the adjective Clarif clarificatory is it actually a word just let me know you speak English I don't so <laughs> so here yeah what we can see here that we are again really testing this support which is 0 0.00727448 and uh, after the dump there was a reaction but then the price opened above and it went actually sorry not the price opened above the previous candle and it went up and it then it closed down and now it's opening up and it's being sold all the time so however there was a nice volume here and if this candle in one hour closes above this hopefully we have the confirmation that this is a bull trend after all we need to see here RSI was saying what he's saying because here we had a little bit of a reversal but this reversal just went there and, and now we have a strong bear engulfing candle here we still are struggling with the 233 EMA I mean everything now is going to go sideways and it can at the end of that it can really go up or down my take is still that it will go up but there is no guarantee about that and my take is that it's going to go up because I see this ascending triangle because I see the three rivers in here I see many things that tell me okay this is going to go up not it's not going to explode all of a, all of a sudden but it will in my opinion resume finding support in this in this other area which is 0 0.0078 for 290 and possibly also touch the nearly one cent I would I wouldn't see that in an, an impossible thing you know obviously not in the hour but in the next days um, and look at RSI RSI also is consistently going up and the, the thing that is a little bit concerning maybe is that also it's going down in here so it's making this triangle here and usually these are continuation patterns but not on RSI and uh, in here we have a, an ascending triangle which is very good so still I believe if I had to take if you point me a gun to the head I will take the long position but still I would I would wait for a further confirmation I would not enter if I had to trade not to invest I wouldn't enter below this bar here if I wanted to go long now let's go to Digibyte Bitcoin on Poloniex and see I think it didn't move much either in fact it looks like it didn't move much as I said because Bitcoin is not moving much however what we can see here it will tend to drop a little bit it will tend to probably go again to the 80 ish area maybe 86 87 and then I think it's going to correct and it's this one is going to happen maybe in the next during the weekend or in the next days of the week it's going to drop a little more um, possibly also to 80 itself here but I don't think it will go any lower than that and then just let Bitcoin do the little correction and then when it's dropping again this one will spike up one more time and hopefully we will have it above this green area which I'm looking forward to remove now I think I have nothing more to say so the time also is up I hope to see you on the other side of the of this project which is joining the promising traders tribe 
uh, to whom I'm going to share. I've got like four videos already prepared with strategies, live strategies, so you will see how much money I'm playing, how much money I'm risking. So yeah, I'm going to soon work on those videos and I will share them with the, the tribe. And nothing, I'll see you tomorrow and I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, bye bye.